the National Conservatism Conference has had some pretty reactionary and sometimes wacky speeches. Suella Bravman has railed against multiculturalism. Douglas Murray has called Nazism a case of Germans mucking up. And now it's the turn of disgraced historian David Starkey. The official account for the NatCon conference tweeted this out. The reason that the left has such ire for the Jews is jealousy. They want to replace the Holocaust with slavery in order to wield its legacy as a weapon against Western culture. And then you can see David Starkey at the hashtag NatConUK. Now, lots of people, understandably, took offense to that tweet and it was promptly deleted. That did make me wonder, maybe the, the social media person took him out of context. No, <laughs> this is the quote from, from David Starkey um, verbatim. It's not good. The narrative of Black Lives Matter is that Western culture and Anglo-American culture in particular are fundamentally and morally defective. They are characterized by the mark of pain and their strategy is to do exactly what was done to German culture because of Nazism and the Holocaust. But the determination is to replace the Holocaust with slavery. In other words, this is why Jews are under such attack from the left. There's jealousy fundamentally, there's jealousy of the moral primacy of the Holocaust and the determination to replace it with slavery. And they say that we're the ones doing oppression Olympics. Why are we, why are we compare, like, why are we having a competition between the moral primacy or whatever of two genocidal historical events? It may, it, it's, comp it's so egregious. And I actually think it's really difficult to overstate quite how terrifying the events of this conference or this convention or whatever, this hellhole taking place in our city. Um, how scary that is. And I think we need to really understand, you know, on the one hand, we have David Starkey, you know, saying that there is a moral primacy to the Holocaust that is not afforded to other um, gen like gen historical genocides. And then at the same conference, you have uh, Douglas Murray referring to the Holocaust and referring to Nazism as a muck up of nationalism. And I actually think it's really important to understand that it's actually not a contradiction that those two points are being made in the same platform. Because what we are seeing here is that what is often made to seem like a so, like solidarity with the Jewish community against anti-Semitism and against the rising threat of anti-Semitism, particularly from the far right, is not actually genuine solidarity from an anti-racist perspective. And that actually it is very important for us on the left to understand that despite growing conversations in the mainstream media and from, you know, this very right wing and racist government about anti-Semitism, that actually it's very important that we understand that the Jewish community is at risk here and that they are actually left unprotected by the forces that are claiming to protect them, that that is a disingenuous form of solidarity and concern. And it's very important that we don't, uh, that we are aware of that in our anti-racist movement, that the growing hostility and racialization of Jewish people um, in this country, in Europe, in the US, is a front line of anti-racist struggle at the moment. And it's important to disentangle that and understand that the very odd ways that can often seem like sympathy or solidarity that's coming from the right is actually packaged in this incredibly degrading and insincere um, form of concern. And that's why we are seeing both of those positions being articulated in the same platform. It's incredibly concerning that we are in a position right now where they feel able, because these people have always thought this way, but what has changed is that they feel confident and safe enough, essentially, you know, you know, metaphorically, to state these on a platform and have it disseminated to the public. This has moved from the private, this kind of thinking, to the public sphere. It is being resonated by and through our state. And that is an incredibly concerning, we are an incredibly concerning juncture when it comes to the rise of the far right. And just because they, they're in, you know, suits and they're speaking at the, um, I believe it was the Natural History Museum, doesn't mean that they, we shouldn't call a spade a spade. And what this is, is far right language and rhetoric. Mm -hmm.